The large influx of incoming freshmen this fall means Ohio University's office, housing, and residence life and the Culinary Services Department are getting creative to house and feed an expected record number of new students. The university says it made sure it was using all of its spaces as effectively as possible. We went back into our inventory, identified those spaces that by design have been built to be triples. Over the course of the years, we've been using them as doubles. We've converted them from doubles back into triple spaces. It also decided to allow some sophomores originally assigned to live in Reed, Ewing, and Dugan to either live in buildings 36 and 37 of the River Park apartment complex or find other housing off campus. The location of those facilities are right adjacent to South Green. It truly serves as an extension of South Green still provide students access to all those direct resources that students need. Those students choosing to live at River Park will be provided furnishings and will pay the same price as if they were living in OU housing. Over at Culinary Services, the department is reopening dining spaces and cafes and continuing using technology launched because of the pandemic. I think the most significant is that in Nelson Court, and the district over on West Green, when we open for lunch at 11 or 1030, depending on the hall, uh, we will remain open through the dinner hour. The university is also bringing back the Hungry Cat, a food truck. With more open locations, Culinary Services says it will need more workers to staff those locations. But one good thing about the record number of new students, finding new workers should be easy. Reporting for Newswatch, I'm Olivia Roman in Athens.